Today we examine the basic tools of Boolean algebra. The first tools are the definitions of the operators themselves, written in algebraic form. Most of these correspond to those of regular algebra. Note, however, that 1 or 1 is equal to 1. For the most part, the identities of Boolean algebra resemble those of regular algebra. For instance, the inverse of an inverse returns the operand. The commutative, associative, and distributive laws of Boolean algebra are like those of regular algebra. An interesting exception is that distribution applies both to the AND operation and to the OR operation. Reduction of null, unit, and self operators is an essential part of Boolean simplification. An important tool for logic simplification is De Morgan's theorem, which can be used to reduce NAND and NOR expressions. It is best applied as a reduction procedure. First, remove the overarching bar from above the expression. Second, apply a bar instead to each term of the expression. Third, switch the operation, in this case AND, to OR. Finally, we consider the XOR operation. In a previous video, we saw the role of XOR as a bit comparator. When used with 0 or 1, the XOR gate acts as a controlled inverter. The result is inverted if the operator is 1 and non-inverted if the operator is 0. We now consider the example of logic simplification seen in the previous video. 4 will go to the big party if phi goes and fair goes or if phi goes and fair does not go. If x is the output, 4 will go, and a and b are the inputs, phi goes and fair goes, then the corresponding Boolean expression is x is equal to a and b or a and b bar. This expression can be simplified by the following steps. First, we use AND distribution to extract the common factor A. Second, we reduce B or B bar. Finally, we apply the unit operator. As in the previous video, we see that the initial conditions reduce to the simple affirmation that 4 will go if and only if phi goes.